Hi there, you know I love trout fishing. Trout fishing is my passion. I do it every day here, I, I teach, I guide, but there's something else that I love just as much in fishing and that's salmon fishing. That's a different kettle of fish altogether. Um, today we're gonna to do something different. I'm gonna show you how to tie uh, a salmon fly. We're gonna tie my version of a stoat's tail double hook salmon fly. Okay, I've got a, a double hook on here. It's a partridge sailor hook. It's quite a big one, I think it's about a size six. Um, salmon have big mouths. We want to catch big salmon, so I think this is a, is a good size hook. Very, very strong hook. First of all, I'm going to tie the thread down the body, like we do with all the, all the trout flies, just to create a little base there. Now, so salmon fishing, though, it's a little bit different to trout fishing because do you know that as soon as salmon get into fresh water, they stop feeding. So why they take these flies, we don't really know. It could be it could be memory of what they are in the sea. It could be territorial. It could be playfulness. It could be aggression. Who knows? We don't really know. Uh, but they do, thankfully, do sometimes take the fly quite often. Hopefully, if the fish is fresh in, in from the sea. So in terms of the tying, it doesn't have to be absolutely specific. I'm going to tie my version of a stoat's tail fly, a very famous salmon fly. And in the tail here, we normally use a bit of golden pheasant, golden pheasant tail. And I'm going to use something a little bit different. I'm going to use a little bit of arctic fox fur. I just feel it's, got, it's very mobile, it's very, very fluffy. Lovely, lovely fluffy tail. But yellow is a good colour for salmon. But we don't we don't want too much. So I'm just going to tie a little suggestion of a little tail there in yellow Arctic fox. There you go. Snip this off. Now, a silver stoat's tail, let's, let's say, we, we can make this up. I've found this amazing stuff here. This is a mirage tinsel, it's got all sorts of colours in it. And I just thought we'd have a bit of fun today by tying the body in this, in this stuff. Tie it in the base. Go up to the head there. And just tie this in nice pearly silver body god that's going to show up in the water isn't it amazing stuff you can see that Some different colors on it and then clip that off okay why is it called a stoat's tail <laughs> well do you remember the, the hairs here it's always about what we tie it with blink and we have <laughs> poor old little stoat poor old little stoat's tail but it's very nice movable pliable sort of wing material just going to Cut a bit of this, this off. And apply it to the top of the fly here. Pinch it together, pinch the line, draw it down onto itself. Beautiful, there. Yeah, something underneath, put a little bit more. Actually, we're making this up. We're doing this our own. I'm going to tie something else. I'm going to put a little bit of squirrel tail on the bottom of that. Yeah, we're going to put a bit of squirrel tail. Here's a bit of squirrel tail. Just going to chop a bit off there. And just put this underneath. Underneath. The hook there. Bind it in. And then over that, I think I'm going to put another bit of... Arctic fox, a bit of yellow 
again. The thing about this Arctic Fox, it's very soft, very, really soft. And uh, it works well in slow water because it moves just in, in slow water nicely. Just a little hint. Perhaps even less than that. Okay, just tidy that head up, just to take away some of the remnants. Easier said than done. Okay, now salmon flies, I, I like to have salmon flies with a little bit of an eye here. Because when salmon in the sea, they feed on krill and, and shrimps and all sorts of little, little fish. So we're going to use a piece of jungle cock. You can buy these. Quite ex really expensive these, but they they're lovely. They just look like, like little eyes. So I'm just going to take a few, two small ones. There's a lot of synthetic ones now that we can use, which are less expensive, but these are okay. And then another one on the back here, two eyes. I, I do like salmon fishing, but it's a bit of a strange thing to do because as I say, they don't feed in fresh water. I've fished a lot of rivers in Scotland, the big ones, the Tay, the Spey, the Dee, the Tweed. But you've got to get everything so right to, in order to catch salmon. The water level has got to be so right. So I've been lucky enough to fish some prolific rivers in west in eastern Canada, the Miramichi, where Lee Wolf started fishing bomber fishing, dry fly for salmon. I've also been lucky enough to fish in Russia, um, some of the big rivers in Russia, the Varzuga, the Karlovka, the Litsa, the Rinda, the Yokanga. Amazing rivers. There's a lot of salmon in those rivers and they're usually quite aggressive. So you can often catch a lot more fish. That's nearly done. I'm just going to tie that off. Nice neat head there. The old super glue or black varnish is better really, but I haven't got any at the moment, so I'm just going to use the old super glue again. And I probably would put a coat of varnish on that when that's dry as well. And that's my version of a stoat's tail salmon fly. There you go guys, it's uh, my version of a stoat's tail salmon fly, simple, 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 but a really good fly. Uh, the best way to fish this, well, depending on the height of the river, but I like to fish that on a floating line, a leader about 12 foot long, cast it across the stream, sort of almost 90 degrees, degrees across, and let it swing round, let it swing round, and hopefully it'll attract the salmon and they'll come and chase it and take it. Now the thing to do when the salmon takes it, you'll feel it take, but what it does is turns and then swims away from you. So let it take a little bit before you tighten into it and then it will hook in the scissors of the mouth. If you strike straight away, you tend to pull it out of the mouth. So we've had a bit of fun with that. I like that. I love the little change I've put in the body there. I'd quite happily fish that. So there you go guys. Stokes tail salmon fly.